You've been in the game of working for a living for a long time, and you've scored enough savings to last for the rest of your life. Or have you? As you head into the home stretch towards retirement, be sure you've tagged all of your bases. Here to help coach you through this last inning is Jim Lineweaver. Jim is a f certified financial planner professional with the Lineweaver Financial Group. So welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. Um, I bet we're talking about a lot different investment strategies than when we were rookies in the working world, right? Exactly, yes. <laughs> and you still want to try to get a home run, but you want to do it much more conservatively. <laughs> so when you're looking at things like your 401k, which is usually people's largest retirement asset as they make that transition into retirement, you really have to be careful because sometimes there's not a lot of investment options. And when you try to scale back the risk in a potentially rising interest rate environment, you might go towards fixed income or bonds, but you could also lose money. So if you're going to try to take a more conservative posture there try to shorten the duration of your bonds maybe short term or intermediate term I wouldn't go out to any long-term bonds mm -hmm. and actually a lot of 401ks they actually have a stable value fund inside there okay. you, may, you only may get two or three percent but you're not going to lose money right. if interest if, rates if go that up. risk is yeah. not there and then. you obviously want to get more conservative towards things like that the closer you get to retirement okay so now what about people who still have a pension now I hear that some companies are doing something called offering like a lump sum buyout or something is that a good idea well it can be because a lot of companies want the, to get this uh, long-term obligation off of their books and they're <laughs> willing to offer you a lump sum now it can be rolled over to a self-directed IRA so you don't have to pay taxes on it immediately you can mm -hmm. pay taxes as you're taking it out but you really got to be careful because you know what's the viability or the strength behind that company that's issuing that pension. Is there any questions there? There's also a pension benefit guaranteed corporation that things can fall back on, but you really want to make sure the company sell it too. You also want to look at what type of income are they going to be paying you. Do you even need it right now? Because also what happens is if you have other sources from Social Security and other investments, you might be able to roll that to a self-directed IRA, have it grow tax deferred until you need some of the money, and also guess what? That if you never use it, it could be passed on to the kids, where a lot of pensions will only be for you and your wife. They will not extend over to the kids. Okay, so it could be a good idea, right. Now, as people approach retirement age, is there a concern that you might spend too much money too soon and run out? <laughs> yes, there is. As a matter of fact, as you're getting close to retirement, you know, you got those empty nesters and the kids are in college and everything, and they're, they're gone, and now you have some extra money. You don't want to just go out and blow it and take it from your future <laughs> retirement. So what you want to do is be prudent about that. And the government's actually set up some bylaws for you or some things that you can take advantage of because you can actually put away uh, up to $18,000, but for those people that that are over age 50, which most empty nesters are, mm -hmm. you can get all the way up to 24,000. So you want to make sure you're maxing out those 401k contributions for yourself. And that can really help you to try to make sure you're doing that catch up for retirement so you can have most put away. Okay. Um, any other suggestions for those soon to be retired people? Yeah, you should really probably try to see a professional, maybe like a certified financial planner, because you have to coordinate your financial tax, legal and insurance issues. You also got to deal with health care, which is a huge expense in retirement. It can be. So you really got to make sure you're dotting your I's and crossing your T's at every step of the way in this huge transition that people make. All right, that's great advice. No matter how much time you have till retirement, it's time to get your money growing. To learn more, attend one of Jim's seminars or give him a call. His number's next. For more information, call the Lineweaver Financial Group at 1-888-313-4009 or click to www.lineweaver.net.